Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the permalink settings in your WordPress site. Now, if you don't know what a permalink is, it is basically just the URL of your website pages. So if you have a, a blog post, actually I'll show you the, a blog post right now. If you go to your site and you open any page on the site that's not the home page, you will see at the very top, when we went to this page, it added this parameter, which is question mark cat equals 37. And that is in fact the current permalink on my site. It's terrible for SEO. This is the demo site, so it doesn't really matter. But the point is that that's the permalink. And if we go to a post, there will be a different permalink. If P equals 811 is the permalink for this page. So where you change, what you what you want to have up here is the title of my post is Big, Big Blue Airplanes. You want to have in the URL, you want to have it say Big Blue Airplanes. That's the best for SEO. That's the best for the user as well because they can always look up here and get an idea of what the, what the page is about. So you create or you set these URL parameters in the permalink section. So here we are back in the dashboard. To get to your permalink section, just hover over settings on the left hand side. In the menu that appears, click on permalinks. And here we have at the very top, the very first options area, is what those permalinks look like. And you might recall just now we saw P equals 811. That's because we have the default setting. And by default, as you can see here, P equals the number or the post ID of that post. And there's a whole bunch of options to choose from. The only ones you should ever consider are day and time, this one, or just post name. Day and time, you would often use if you have a news type website or you're constantly publishing updates of some sort, so you want to have them dated if, if it's a news site. And the other one, post name, this is the best one for SEO because the post name generally contains your keyword if you're doing it right. And the, you want to have your keyword for the article as close to the front of the URL as possible. And it doesn't get any closer than this option. So this is the one that's best for SEO. If you have an e-commerce site, again, that's a little bit different. You might have certain uh, directories and things in the URL. But you definitely want to have keywords in there as well to make them search engine friendly. And you probably wouldn't use these options for e-commerce. If you have an e-commerce plugin, there's going to be different URL creation options for those quite often. And if we scroll down, the second option area is called optional. So you don't have to do it. You can just leave it the way it is. But essentially what you do is for the category pages, you can choose whether there is a directory before the category. So for example, this is the design category page and the cat in the URL that denotes category. So we can add something in here like topics, save changes, come back out here and refresh the page. Now we should have topics and there's topics right there and then it actually takes the name of the category instead of the category ID. So it input that word I just entered in that field into this category page. You should never really have to do this because it's bad for SEO. Because this is going to be a general word, whereas design might be your keyword. And you want to have that as close to the front of your URL as possible. So I never mess with these settings. I always keep these fields blank, and it works just fine for me. And for the top one, again, the ones, the only ones you should consider are a day and time and post name. Those are the two best ones for SEO. Post name being the absolute best out of the two for SEO. Now, when you're happy with these changes, all you have to do is click on save changes and those will be saved. And I'll do that right now and I'll show you what the post name looks like on that big blue airplanes article we went to. If you recall, it used to say P equals 811. Now it says big dash blue dash airplanes, which in this case is the keyword I wanted to have for that page. 
So that's much better for SEO than P equals 811. So in this video, we talked about or we walked through the permalink settings inside your WordPress website. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, check out our social media, and visit WPLearningLab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.